Am I being watched by my neighbor? A couple of weeks ago, someone had dropped groceries at my door with two coffees. The groceries were very odd. Had lubricant, lollipops, not your normal grocery shop. I thought it was delivered to the wrong apartment because there was no receipt on confirmation in the bag. I left it in the lobby, but no one claimed it. A week later, a letter was slipped under my door with $200 in it. The letter was by a man talking about his recent hardship and how he wanted to talk to me and hear my voice. Again, I was a little naive, so I took the note to my building manager, thinking it was for someone else. He thought it was strange, so he called the number on the letter. Turns out, it was a man in the building next door, saying that he wants to be my friend. The buildings are really close together and you can see into the apartments if the blinds are open. My building manager told him to leave me alone and stay away from my apartment. I thought it was over, but today I heard someone pacing in the hallway outside of my apartment for a couple of minutes. I went to leave an hour later and there was a coin in front of my door, dead center, like it had been placed there. The only way it could get there would be if it was placed or if my neighbor dropped it as my neighbor should be the only other person that walks past my door. But based on where I found it, it makes me feel it was deliberately placed. I wouldn't think twice about a coin, but with what's been happening, it's making me really nervous. Now I can't help but wonder, am I being watched by my neighbor? Is this all just an unsettling coincidence or something more sinister? I don't know, man. I'm hoping that this story is fiction. Because it seems that OP is really naive and I really hope that she's careful. I definitely wouldn't trust any of that. This is another one of those situations where you need to trust your instincts. If something doesn't feel right in your gut, then usually there's a good reason for it. All I know is that OP really needs to be careful, maybe even report this to the authorities, and definitely keep a record of all of the unusual occurrences. That way, if she does have to involve the cops, at least they'll have some evidence to work with. You guys let me know what you would do in this situation. Also, I wanted to show you my newest mold. So I got this really cute melted popsicle mold from Let's Resin. I think it's like a paperweight, I don't know, but it's super cute, super unique, and I had some extra resin that I wanted to use for this project, and here are the results. So I can't wait to use this again and actually try and make it look like a real dessert. But anyways, for this one, I could not figure out for the life of me which one of these sticks would match. It's just such a random project, so all of these sticks looked a little bit off. So anyways, guys, let me know in the comments which one of these sticks you would pick for the paperweight. Also, let me know what I should use for my next design using this mold. I'm thinking either mint chocolate or like strawberries and cream. So let me know in the comments which one you would like to see more. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I love your faces. Make sure that you stay kind, stay amazing, and always trust your gut. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.